Hello everyone, this is Venom right here, and today I have yet another Marvel X Reader story. So I had promised I would do a Peter Parker X Reader story for my subscribers after some popular demand for it. And I should tell you guys that this particular story does not have any real mentions of Spider-Man as far as it is concerned. Although I am considering it doing a Spider-Man X-Reader story instead of just a Peter Parker one. Or maybe both in the story or something. But I think that would be very, very fun to write. But I wanted to go ahead and be a little bit more tame and try something. Or sort of just test the waters, if you will, for this particular story. Because I don't read many Peter Parker fan fictions. So I honestly had no idea where to go with this one. So I had to do quite a bit of, like, research, if you will, on this store on these type of, on Peter Parker stories, just to get an idea of where to go. And after a lot of time, I feel that I'm much, even though the story isn't the best, I feel decent about it. And before we begin, the last thing I want to say is that the next video is going to be a very special surprise for some of you Benedict Cumberbatch fans, and it's going to be um, next video, um, and it's going to be also celebrating the 1200 subscriber milestone. So anyway, with all of that aside, let's get started. Come on, your name. You can do this. Just do it. You said inside your head. You were failing your a algebra class terribly, and so your best friend, insert name here, had told you to go ask Peter Parker to help you study. What really scared you was the fact that your friend knew you had a crush on him. You looked at him as he was talking to Ned at their normal, normal lunch table, talking about God, and God knows what. Man, he's so cute, he thought. He took one last deep breath before taking small steps towards the two of them. You cleared your throat to get their attention, and when Peter looked up at you, you felt your heart speed up. Uh, hey, your name. What's up? He's, man, Peter said as he tried to, tried to hide his blush as much as he could. Can I ask you for a favor? Sure. What do you need? Well, it felt so embarrassing for you to have to ask, your help, ask help from your crush. You didn't want him to think you were stupid. You shook off the paranoia and focused on not collapsing of a heart attack. I kinda need some help with the algebra class, and I figured you could maybe help me study. Peter's eyes went wide as he, as he weighed his options. On one end of the spectrum, he really liked the idea of studying with you. He really wanted to, mainly because he liked you a lot. You were this super cute and shy girl who was really artistic. You drew in your sketchbook all the time, and he would sometimes see you doodling in class. He knew math was in your strong suit, just like on how he sucked at drawing. But on the other end of the spectrum, he was worried that Mr. Stark would pull him away from, her, from you in order to go on a mission or something. But it really wouldn't kill him to help you out. Besides, last thing he needed was, was he, last thing he wanted was for you to fill the class. Uh, sure. When do you want to meet up? Does tonight work? You said, feeling bold. Yeah, that works. Here, let me give you my address. Peter then opened his bag and took out a notebook, ripping out a piece of paper. He then scribbled down his address and phone number before handing it to you. He smiled and felt your face flush as your hands touched for a brief second. He then smiled. Thanks, Peter. I'll see you later. You then hurried off to your lunch table. Meanwhile, Ned was shocked and spoke to Peter in a flabbergasted tone. Did you just get a date with your name? What? No, it's not a date. I'm just helping her study is all. For the rest of the lunch period, you and Peter were getting teased by your friends for your date. And now for a time skip. You knocked on the door and a woman opened it. Hi there, are you your name? Yes. Wow, I've heard a lot about you, and I've only, ju only just now met you. I may. Peter's on. Please come in. He stepped into the nice apartment, and Aunt May went, went to Peter's room to let him know you arrived. A few seconds later, Peter emerged from his room and smiled when he saw you. Hey, your name. You ready? You nodded and followed him into his room as Aunt May smirked to herself knowingly. You both took a seat on his bed as you two began to study. Peter was surprisingly a good tutor, as it turned out. You both studied for around four hours and were taking a break at the moment. 
Peter watched you. At me. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm losing my spot. Anyway, you opened your backpack and began sketching out a character design. Peter watched you sketch out the basic designs and such out of from the corner of his eye. He then cleared his throat and spoke. Hey, uh, your name? Mm-hmm, he said without looking up from your sketchbook. Do you, uh, think you could teach me how to draw sometime? You stopped drawing and looked at Peter. Uh, sure. Neither of you said n neither of you said anything, but you both were staring into each other's eyes. You never noticed it before, but Peter had probably the nicest chocolate brown eyes you had ever seen. He could say the same about your eye-colored eyes. Peter hesitantly placed his hand on your cheek and caressed it lightly. He sighed peacefully and leaned into his touch. Peter's, you both started to close your eyes and you and lean in slowly. Finally, your lips touched. Peter's lips were surprisingly soft, and you can barely take it. All of the love you had felt for him all of this time was being poured out of you and being put into this moment. Peter slowly trilled his hand down your waist and rubbed it softly. Your hands dangled in, in his hair as you, and you both slowly pulled apart. He smiled and Peter held your hands. We should study like this more often, you muttered. You're not wrong. The end. So, even though I said before that I'm not exactly the most educated when it comes to Peter Parker X-Rater fan fanfictions, I actually had quite a bit of fun making this. And I, I don't know if you guys read my Wattpad or if you just watch the YouTube videos, but I made it a small tradition where in the Marvel book that every single time I finished X-Rater, I will add a little bit of text at the very end um, of the story where me, the reader, and the character that was involved in the ice reader just talk. And it was super cute and in that um you and in the in the and in the text the reader says and I quote, You're a big old cuddly spider. And of course I agree. I really do because I mean, come on, let's be honest, Peter Parker, particularly for me, I believe that Tom Holland is the my favorite of the versions of Spider Man. Mainly because he's super cute and everything and he's adorable, let's be real. So I really, really do think that this was a lot of fun to make. I know I say that for every story, but it's true. And this was certainly a lot of fun to make, and I'm really proud of it in a small way. I feel like I could have done a little better, but regardless, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And be ready for the next video's surprise. And I'll be seeing you all very soon. Bye-bye.